What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are on the verge of knocking out Denmark, which considering they have a lot of troops stashed away in the hills is probably not a bad thing. We're sieging Stockholm and then after this we're going to be attacking Copenhagen. But first we must knock out the garrison plus this reinforcing army that's coming in. So it's off to the left, so we could maybe get up to some shenanigans here. But let's attack this, attack the settlement. They have no mortars, so this should be fairly bloodless. Although, to be honest, uh, we are going to see the end of the Danish firm, the Danish faction. Sorry. So it doesn't really matter if it was a bloody battle. If we had to uh, potentially hold on to Stockholm against those troops to the northwest, that might be more of an issue. But I, but we aren't, so it isn't. We can afford to lose a large portion of our force, but we aren't going to. So... Put my heavy horse artillery here. My fusiliers. Their job is going to be to cover the breach. Two units to maybe go in. But what I'm really hoping we can do is if I deploy my line to attack this back edge according to what the AI well we, sh we can expect reinforcements so hopefully we're in a good enough position to knock them out let's try to pull my hearts is over here in case there's some shenanigans general deploy with the main effort how it is open for ha <laughs> ha so let's get my infantry up. They deployed in line with where they were expected. Let's get my cavalry over here rapidly. Let's really try spread my infantry out. I expect. Yeah, they are charging right off the bat. To be expected. So these, all of these units need to deploy in square. and fire all off to make sure the rearmost squares don't kill the men at the front. Let's get my cuirassiers up. These two units try and run up to here, past the enemy cavalry. Let's see if we can properly engulf them. Okay, they've been the, the cavalry has been defeated, so let's get our hit the lancers, get my lifeguards out of here. I suspect we're actually going to see quite a large melee battle over here. Not a deal breaker, but we want to keep the momentum of our advance going. Keep those two units pushing wide. We've got our infantry advancing. You units stop walking and start running. A large combination of forces here. The grenadiers are going to go down. They're routing. So charge the cavalry on into the horse artillery. The objective would be if we could start to deploy our line to engage the enemy once the artillery is gone we can pull our infantry back and set up our kill box. The men form up like so, the grenadiers form up. ceasefire, I've got sound shenanigans. I mean, have you even looked at what's going on up over here? Yeah. <laughs> Attack the wall. So they might end up getting into our front lines to push our grenadiers up to engage the line infantry. Try to get this unit to run around the flank. You men open fire. So my Royal Grenadier Guards can push in against the 27th. 
these two units, the 80th and the 111th, are engaging the units that are reinforcing. You're currently deciding about whether or not you're going to join the fight. These two units push up and secure that section. So then you start running towards the uh, the fort. Cavalry can join them because fundamentally they're not going to be needed anymore. My men up front can advance. The militia have been... Oh, it looks like they're trying to dismount the wall, so that didn't go in their favour. Attack the other section with my artillery. Uh, there's their enemy position. These poor troops. Make sure everyone is on fire at will. So then this unit of marines... See, there's, there's a unit of dragoons coming in, but the objective would be that if we can repel their marines, we can form square to withstand the dragoons without causing undue problems. Oh, they shot a bunch of their own marines. But now the cavalry will start to experience uh, firing at will. And it looks like that will be the end once the dragoons are gone. That will be their reinforcements dealt with. Excellent. They're shattered, so we don't have to worry about them. Run. Get the 81st to secure the breach. To secure a gatehouse. So let's get a line infantry unit up here. How it is a firing round shot. Although it might actually want to secure the breach like so. See if we can lure any any of the enemy to come out. So push our cavalry up to secure the rear entrance. Yeah, the artillery just actually attacked ground in the breach. How it says, yes, look, so some of them have come out front. So you men all fire at will on. You can all gun down this poor little group of militia that have left the wall. They're charging. You're attacking someone inside the gate, so no wonder you're not going to work. All these men are running, but they're all quite tired. The objective would be to secure this rear gate, get our cavalry in, then we can start to push our line infantry units through the breach. Keep attacking these sections of infantry. This poor militia unit, it looks like it's partially deployed outside the wall. So they're going to have a pretty torrid time. They're going to get gunned down by my men without any real recourse. It's got the fusiliers to fire at will. Looking spectacular. Compared to regular line of equal experience level, accuracy 61, reloading skill 56, and ammunition 19. So they can put out a crap ton of fire, fusiliers. Nope. 24th Regiment are aware that something's up. So let's put a put a line infantry unit over here to capture the gate and then have two grenadiers hold firm by that door. This infantry also hold firm by this gate. Looks like they're forming up to try and defend the, the breach. The bold of the 28th. But let's take... Now you chaps are going to secure the gate. They're probably going to open fire on you. Yes, they are. But that's okay. Okay. 
Hope you won't take too much longer to secure the gate. Especially considering there's no enemy troops on it. It's all us. There we go. Movement order. Let's guarantee it. So get our lifeguards in, our regiment of horse in, and our cuirassier guards in. But we captured them all. We have captured them all. So we don't need to attack the centre or the breach because they're already wavering. We just need to push men in. Curiosity guards go in and kill them or attack the enemy. Although they have formed square, so pull back. You men charge the militia units, free up a grenadier guard unit to attack the square. We don't want to run too much cavalry into it. Looks like a regiment of horse might bump into it. So it's not the job of the Royal Cressier Guard to hold the square, but it looks to hold the um, the central objective. But I'm hoping my infantry plus grenadiers can push through and attack the 24th such that they abandon their square formation and then give my regiment of horse an easier time. Cease fire all our artillery. Our grenadiers and lifeguards should re will, will really do a number on that militia. The square is broken. Bring, this, bring more infantry in, on, in in this fight to attack the 24th. But there we go. Garrison. Garrison has broken and the city is ours. Good stuff. And that last flag is a reinforcing unit that is retreating. So that is Stockholm secured. But we still need to push on and take uh, Copenhagen. We're not going to attack you because there is no need to attack you. Demolish, or get ready to demolish university. Let's repair all these buildings. Let's recruit a handful of galleys to occupy ports. Then Randall Bloodnock attack the city of Copenhagen. So this should be a bit more of a traditional assault then we should be able to, well, we will have knocked out a uh, significant portion. Well, we would have knocked out our enemies to the north, and that will free up a handful of armies to uh, sail probably to America. I mean, fundamentally, this campaign is steamrolled really quickly. I mean, we pushed through India much easier than I planned, and I think this campaign's probably going to be over in five episodes or so. Maybe. Well, maybe five might be over it a bit, but really quite quick. So it's got our rockets deployed. I'm curious to see how they do. So let's put our Swiss line and our engineers and some colonial line over on the flank to attack the rear. Keep a unit of engineers and some mercenaries to back up the frontal assault. So, howitzers. Quick line, please. Fire off a volley into that lovely cavalry position. An early detonation against the wall there. But these next shots coming in. Actually, let's see what the rockets do. Let's make you guys... Actually, I know what I might do. There's so many of them. Let's see if I can... Okay, so you're probably going to go for the general if you've got the range. I mean, that looks pretty cool. Oh, God. <laughs> Henry General killed Ulrich Polhamar. Okay, so let's actually... get my artillery to try and trap as many men as possible. Some of our troops on the flank are going to get picked off. Yeah, they're going after my rocket troop. They're reloading. 
knocked out one of my guns. See, they did just decide to change targets there, which I don't like. Well, you meant to try and... See, they're attacking the how... These damn howitzers. And my field artillery's done it again. I don't want anyone attacking the centre now, because my rockets will do that. But let's speed up time, check that my orders are being heeded. Good. My howitzers are now attacking the walls. As are my foot artillery. My rockets continue their relentless bombardment in the centre. Because if we do this properly, we might trap a significant portion of the enemy garrison on the walls. I mean, it is... That's the main objective, because right now the rockets are doing some real good damage here. So let's just focus on what we're doing here. I mean, it's going to be potluck, whether we time it correctly or not. But the foot artillery is clearly doing the job faster. Okay, right, let's make the foot artillery attack here, and my howitzers attack here. Howitzers do less damage, but they take less or take less shots to destroy this section. So we'll be better served using the firepower of my foot artillery to knock down or to attack this section. To be honest, one gun's fire, that might be enough if it hits. No, they've Ah they've decided to attack here. I hate that so much. This, is, this isn't behaviour that you used to see in Empire Total War. I'm not quite sure how that came in, to be honest. Because that means, ooh, if this section gets successfully attacked. Good. And then all of you focus on this section here. That will trap two full units of line infantry. That's not a bad outcome. We lost the uh, HQ building. There we go. Shots coming in. Boom. So now I'm going to let my gunners attack whoever they like. My howitzers are going to attack that unit of provincial militia. How are the mortars doing? They're not doing so good. To be honest, my howitzers could well be... My rockets could well be attacking the mortars. Let's start to attack the men defending the uh, the walls. That's a great hit there. 200 militiamen have collapsed. So they only have one unit of mortars. So I'm tempted to begin the attack, but... If I do that, I probably want to push more this way. So let's keep walking for now. We'll start running if the mortars start going after us. Let's get my cavalry over here as well. Yeah, I think they are going for the house, actually. Actually doing pretty good. So one of you continue to attack up here, one of you definitely go after this grenadier unit. Hmm. No, I'm quite curious, quite interested to see how well rockets do against uh, mortar. What they? well, they're showing their worth. Howitzers wouldn't do that well, and what rockets have quite a good area of effect. Let's switch one of them to round shot. Start to pick off some of the men in this rear quadrant. Let's see how. Okay, now all the now all the mortars are firing. Mortars are wavering. Yeah, now the mortars are firing, we need to push up quickly. 
this is going to be quite bloody because Danish infantry does get certain benefits when in melee. If, I'm pretty sure Danish Danish infantry are just fundamentally better than most other units are at melee. The melee attack mission. So I'm going to try to get... Will you guys fire over the wall and attack the rear? That's what I want to know. I don't think they would. Rockets are firing again, which will really help. Knocked out a couple, more, and a couple more crewmen. Will my artillery instead attack the units on the wall? Because if they've got a line of sight, they might actually do it. They are doing it as well. Let's swarm the wall. Swarm the wall. Get cavalry over here rapidly. Get you men to face off against the breaches, although one of you definitely wants some. Um, actually, my artillery might actually attack the bastion on the right as the rockets continue to fall. Knock down the other building. My howitzer is getting sporadic kills against the militia. I hear enemy charges. These units can open fire against the men in the breach. These guys, are, I've sat them back a little bit. But I might actually seek to push them up. Got plenty of ammo. Not quite sure what these men are doing. I think what they're trying to do is go through the wall. What I think they're hoping to do. You may need to abandon this and deploy square because there's a regiment of horse coming our way. No, guard, uh, garrison guardsmen clear off. Quicklime's doing well, but our mercenaries charge in and attack the citizenry. The artillery attack the militia here. Both my howitzer units try and clear out this militia unit. Attacking their infantry, make sure no one is under any illusions, that is your objective. The rockets are still doing well. My infantry is doing well against their infantry in the centre. New men don't really have a choice but to attack. Might just attack ground in this corner with my artillery. With my howitzers, that is. Volley fire into the militia might cause them to rout. Down to 158 men. Scale the walls. You men charge into the rear of this regiment of foot. Throw more bodies into the fight. The regiment of horses causing a bit of problems so let's do pull our infantry back but push up our cavalry to attack them in the flanks because in general them sallying does help us more than them 
It allows us to bring our own cavalry forces to bear. There we go. This breach is clear. Push in through the left. Rocket ceasefire. Grenadiers are attacking. Horse grenadiers are also attacking. Keep our men pushing. You guys cease fire. So push one unit in against the mortars. Push the other unit to secure the center and fire into the rear of these men. You've sucked in an infantry unit. Get my Swiss infantry to attack this grenadier unit. Let's get a guard, a grenade. Let's get some of these units off the wall. They aren't all needed to fight the last horse grenadier guardsmen. So you men are going to attack. I mean, the rockets done a great job. These guys are wavering under the withering fire of those 21 infantry, so they're going to fall back. Okay, now you men, these engineers, see if you can... Now oh, the militia are going to reset the cap anyway. Because you guys decided to stop attacking. Which was hella lame. But you want to attack into the rear here. Garrison guards advance. Again, they've decided not to attack the militia. They just decided to stay still. My militia will be in, is more than enough to take care of those guys. Aha, my howitzers should not be firing. It's given their artillery the boost they wanted. Get these men off the wall. So my garrison guards have tipped the balance here. My heavy cavalry is desperate to get in. Let's get my garrison guards to charge the troops in the breach. Field artillery attack this section, howitzers attack that section as well. Push them in even though they're wavering, just because it might be enough. This line infantry unit can engage the men of the breach. This Swiss line unit can advance to block. Actually, you guys might advance to block the... Um... Oh no, the Grenadiers fell. Okay, these Swiss line units advance to block any of the men in this breach here from turning around and attacking the centre. We're going to knock out the militia. These 50 men have been surrounded. Everybody's after these last regiments of militia. Actually, my cavalry might just run through. The militia do not have the, the mass needed to prevent my cavalry from pushing in. My garrison and my line infantry units can continue the attack. taken somewhere. There's one firelock armed citizenryman left. Although he is not a fan of how his countrymen are continuing themselves. Actually, where's my cavalry over here? So send someone to proactively attack that regiment of militia. Oh, he got shot before he could do anything anyway. I 
everyone attack that last reg that last militiaman, an incredibly elite militiaman, no doubt, but still a militiaman. Yeah, they're manning their posts. It's only that 21st regiment that remains. You men, charge up there and deal with the 21st. Same with you. Because in one place you definitely aren't needed. Yeah, there's one horse artillery crewman. Try and knock him out. Everyone else, just hold the centre. Because you retake the gate so that our men can advance. One last infantryman. These guys are trying to do something about it, but they cannot. Yeah. Let's get the heavy cavalry out of here. You men may as well stop firing. guys are really really can't work out what to do against that gunner but there we go city is ours and it really really helped that we uh, trapped a bunch of units above the main gate fools there we go the fortress is taken it is finally over Denmark has fallen all those armies up there poof Obviously there will be a period of unrest and realignment to be to be had. Um, but I think in the end it will be the best thing the best thing for Britain and therefore the world. Go on then give you a dockyard, get rid of that dockyard, upgrade that commercial basin. And you get rid of your university. Okay, so now we can definitely stand to do some investing. I mean, Sweden really didn't develop this territory as far as they could, and neither did Denmark. Then again, I can't, I've forgotten how far along. Eh, get rid of that chapter school. I've forgotten how far along the, uh, the Swedes were before Denmark conquered them. They did rather well, considering, because normally. Um, normally Denmark fails so let's get some infrastructure upgrades across the territory although they're not all needed so you men replenish Sharky Stonehouse is replenished can you leave Norway oh no was the territory unoccupied okay so you men replenish that means we've got a full army here just sat here doing nothing we could attack Russia but ah okay Ter Persia has a territory up here at Srinagar I was looking could we attack Ar well we can we've got armies positioned ready to attack Ardabil and Esfahan but I would probably like a um, well I would like to to also be able to jump on Srinagar because the thing is with Persia is that <laughs> they have blocks of troops huge amount of troops. So at the very least we like to push and take Zahedin, draw them away from the capital, and made a bad Yeah, you're being you're being supported. You guys can't attack them yet. Mr Denman He's replenishing but is not ready, but he is gonna have an order to push on hmm. it's a bit of a funky direction. Can you chaps leave Hyderabad? Minus two. Yeah just some Dragoons will take care of that. Yes, you men push on to... Well, push up, I suppose. You men hold and replenish. Dale Wolf yes, and his army, his Sipoy army. Minus one, that got them down to. Order. 
Let's also get another two Dragoon units to make sure my sword doesn't get too upset. Although, to be honest, this army is entirely surplus to requirements. We do not need all these men. So sorry, Mr. Channing. You're going to lose a good chunk of your troops and you are going to serve as a garrison. Elsewhere is pretty stable. So we've got Hindustan, which can be upgraded. The new roads particularly will be useful. We're going to resist doing too much upgrading. I'm going to push up to Lahore, Kabul. Lots of good stuff. Um, but might now be the time... Well, no, actually, I want my uh, named general to be the one to fire the first shot in the, the Russian war. Okay, so we're going to want to hit and turn as our spies continue to advance because when we attack Russia we want to blitz it because we know how the Russians get Nip two troop, two armies over towards Brest that need to be transported over to the Americas there's another one heading over that direction to be honest as with all our campaigns you do reach a point where you have surplus firepower <laughs> you just don't need all the armies that you've got built you certainly don't need all these navies either so I'll transport one first rate across because what we've got three territories in the Americas to capture the Inuit Texas and the Black Hills hey Maratha might be actually squaring up finally maybe we're about to find out where all their armies have been I mean, those guys need to watch out, or else I'll draw them into a river battle. I'm not afraid. I'll do it. Don't make me do it. But yeah, Britain, this campaign has just gone stupendously well. Yes, you've fallen back to Eugene. Good. And look, Persia is definitely going to cause us some grief. So much so that I'm... Oof. I definitely want to be able to jump... Oh, well, they've stolen a march on us, then, It perhaps. What if they call in... No, Dagestan didn't join them. So we've lost trade with Persia. They're coming our way. I mean, that was a mistake. You could have gone for Yerevan. I mean, you can blockade us if you like, Persia. The damage or the loss of trade is going to be a bit of a bummer, but you know we're going to have to live with it. We have another army marching south. To be honest, I might even pull my armies back. My army back that's at Baghdad west to hold positions on the river and look there's a Georgian rebel army so I think the issue there is they don't if the territory is currently happy they don't grow in strength whereas if there are if the territory is unhappy like it actually still is unhappy let's so bring Mr. Dodd out just to auto kill the rebels because they're just a bunch of mercenaries and light infantry triumphant. bit of a okay so it's the artillery that doesn't have the legs the rest of the army can push up and kill the rebels so they're minus six so mr york can take can take responsibility for the garrison. Let's do a bit more upgrading here. So we've got some good mines built, we've got some good infrastructure upgrades, roads are doing good. So this army push up to this river crossing. Not well you could just attack them because you know they're just gonna dismantle that. Upgraded, upgraded production site. Ready and Ready for for order. But what I think might be a good idea is to pull you back to the river because they can't attack across this river except till they get to here. If they want to raid that cloth mill, it's within range so we can draw them into a river battle while we bring up our reinforcements.
Uh, some of these guys haven't actually been moving. Baghdad's roads are good, so if they get down there, they should be able to make some really good progress. Keep dumping money into upgrades across the board, because we've got more money than we know what to do with. Trade agreement cancelled with Persia. Workers on strike in Rumelia. So Hadwin Charlton, garrison the city. You might be better... Well, actually, no, you're just a single unit. So, because we've lost trade with the Persians, they were they were our um, last major trade partner. So, what we might start to see is a... I was about to say a bit of a dip. A dip to only 135,000 per turn. So, you men combine. You men might march over to here. I'm not too worried about pushing immediately over into the Americas because we've not really got that many territories to go. Um, obviously we need to attack Russia still, but I don't foresee them being a incredibly difficult obstacle. But I do want to get these reinforcements down here quickly, so Baghdad starts stocking up on infantry. Then in India, Mr. Brophy can attack this ragtag force in a plantation and advance. Hamish Boyle, continue your attack plan. Eugene Denman, I might actually send you to... So they're not going to get there very quickly. I might have to get them over here. Because he can't get past Jules Bertie, who's guarding the crossing. So let's check. Okay, you're going to push you forward up to the front. You're going to join them. I mean, fundamentally, we're just things are just going rather well. You can push up to the river crossing here, ready to attack Eugene next turn. I made a bad. Keep growing, Nagpur. Or Udaipur, keep growing. The Marathas are on their way. Akbarabad is reinforced. Mr. Charlton is in an advantageous position to push. Let's build some more tea plantations, upgrade the sugar plantation. You may actually go north to support that offensive. Can Mr. Sutton leave Nagpur? Minus six. No, you cannot. My soul can't really lose any of its garrison. Hmm. Build some dragoons in Hyderabad to try and move them north. To try and maintain the pace of advance. You're going to... Mr. Hardy's going to hold here and let the enemy force build that before we destroy them. Then we've also got Curtis Patterson who is going to kick off the war against Russia. And what this means is that I'm, I normally record like a, a Britain, Spain, Britain, Spain, Britain, Spain in the moment. But if I attack Russia, I'm going to keep... Well, okay. So let's save this as... GB underscore pre Russia. Declare war. Call. Hopefully, they bring in the Pueblo nations. No, they do not. Maintain that for now. Let's get an army to rush over towards Astrakhan quickly. You push down towards the Tarki front. You push on Kazan. Hello. A proper fight. Cool. So let's... Can you... You can make it to Komi. Just demand the surrender of the city. Very well. If they want to make a fight of it, we can make a fight of it. 
Um, but first, I think I probably want to take Mr. Veer. Well, let's give you an immediate attack order to hit Ufa. It's going to take you a few turns to get there. Mr. Mayhew. Get down to the front here. Mr. Oldfield. Push on Astrakhan as well. Ian Stevenson's going to hold as a garrison, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Letter of demands from Denmark, but no, they've got used to us. Um, but first, let's take... Actually, so we've done some pretty big battles. Let's take Comey to the rear, and then we will kick off the next episode with the attack um, outside Kazan. Because I always like to try and either end or start on a big battle because we've had a, we had some a couple of decent battles um, earlier on in the episode let's uh, finish this episode off with a bit of a small one so i can kick off the next episode with a nice big battle so let's get our guns Ooh, lovely gun position deploy the howitzers I mean, to be honest, if this one's particularly quick, we may end up attacking with our named force as well. I, mean, I don't know why I'm being so cagey. We have so many numbers, we could outrush the Russians. So, push up our heavy cavalry on either flank. I mean, the howitzer's got quick climb loaded, but that's probably going to be a bit of a spoil sport move. <laughs> you men don't walk, you men run. That was me being a bit trigger happy. Swiss guards. I mean, have we had a proper look at the Swiss guards? They look pretty good. Obviously they're very different to their unit card. But let's take unit infantry here. Actually maybe take two. They won't efficiently deploy. But I can take two there and then push two around the flank. And then my yeah, my guard infantry can carry on doing what they're doing. You men push up here. You men fight. A garrison infantry unit fairly alone. But the objective would be... My flank is going to fold, fold the Russian force in on itself so quickly it's not going to really matter. I mean, the 25th may end up charging us, but yeah. Volleys away! This regiment of foot is also going to engage. That unit broke under concentrate. Oh my god. maintain the advance because they are going to come back. They've not really lost many men. These Russians have formed square, which because the Russian units are always... Russian units are huge. That's an absolutely massive formation. But it does mean that they've... They've got... We're able to throw many more men of ours against theirs because I think how much many of their troops aren't engaged in combat because they're around this side of the formation. So you men push up to engage the Cossacks. That unit of guards push around the flank. Heavy cavalry storm up. My hope is this heavy cavalry unit can smash into the side of the 34th. Send them packing.
how it has engaged the citizenry. Oh, my Swiss guards went decided to go around the front rather than around the flank. There's a building in the way. But my foot artillery should have an angle. It does indeed. The 25th going down rapidly. The firelock arm citizenry naturally are being... They're very upset about being fired upon. Ceasefire my artillery. For all I know, the battle could be over because uh, these guys are still here. Uh, only just. Excellent. So that was sufficiently quick. We may end up fighting the attack on... Um, fight a battle on the dawn at the same time. Excellent. So that's Oost, Oost taken. So you men upgrade and replenish. Can you guys push on out of Oost? Oost. I reckon if I take my most battered um, battered units and set you send you back, you're perfect. Now leave the money tax. We don't need the money, but we do need the public order to be okay. So you men push on to Ufa. We've got loads of troops pushing on to Astrakhan, um, but because this siege here probably won't take very long either, and it's with our named force, we can attack here at Chukask with our named force. So let's take them out. Lots of infantry, so we're going to blow our way in and then storm. We don't need to worry about thinning them out too much with quicklime because they just don't have that many men. They don't have any artillery and they don't have a hidden bucket load of cavalry to try kill us. They don't have a very... They don't have any one particular good way to attack the city. Not from an artillery perspective. Okay, here I'll do. So no cleverness here. The first and second Royal Welsh are going to take one breach. Rifleman's Royal Brigade and the Yorkshire number one are going to take another breach. Clan Makada support the left flank. The Admiral's Regiment support the right flank. So these are going to be our attack companies. Fusilier Regiment von Losberg is going to help protect or potentially find exploitation routes up the flanks. Same with both my skirmishes on the left. The pikes are going to follow the left flank. My heavies are going to push the right. And Charlie's light, uh, Charlie Scott's grey is going to go up the centre. Give us a way in, artillery. Pichuski Regiment of Foot, Garrison Line, Navarsky Regiment of Foot, Navarsky Regiment of Foot, Navarsky? Navsky! Begin advancing our assault companies up. Maybe put split our infantry, including the von Los regiment von Losberg, so they can, can actually start to support pushes on the flanks. This wouldn't be a bad position to put skirmishes, really. So I'm going to run my skirmishes up. My heavy cavalry is going to move up. Where's... There it is. Charlie Scott's Greys. Get up onto the hill. We're going to make our... Oh my god, we might actually trap loads of them. Because our artillery is so good. Because one more volley... Whichever one attacks first is going to... Uh, Possibility is endless. 92. 
95. Another... Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Well, I didn't plan on that happening, but I'll take it. In, Grenadiers! In, in, in! Clan Makada! In! Yorkshire's number one, get in here! All of you, in! Because that's one, two, three, four units that can no longer engage in defending the fort. Charlie Scott's Greys are coming in. Looks like, to be honest, these guys don't really know what they're going to do. The first Royal Welsh are going to push in. These guys are going to be up here to skirmish with the men that stay on the wall. Charlie Scott's Greys, you can fire well off, but push up. Artillery ceasefire. So get the first Royal Welsh to attack the 12th Regiment. Get them away from the gate. Get get Rofman's Royal Brigade push up as well. Highlander Warband can charge up the steps to attack the 10th Regiment of Foot. The skirmishers are getting some shots off on the remaining men on the wall. Rofman's Royal Brigade don't charge them. Yorkshire's number one. No wait, who's this? The Admiral's Regiment. You get the, the honour of securing the breach, the honour of securing the square. Swiss Pikes coming in. Charlie Scott's dragoon. Charlie Scott's Greys are joining the attack on the regiment of foot in the centre. They're going down very quickly. Clan Makada's pushing up the steps. These men, the men that are staying on the walls are making themselves vulnerable to skirmish fire, so they're trapped. Come on then, both my marine units, including the Yorkshire's number one, you men can secure the gate. Heavy cavalry, just form up. <laughs> this is gone. This was just such a delightful little chunk. So this... Look at all these... Oh, look at that! Grenadier! <laughs> so all, I like it when, I find it funny when they just stop attacking, because it's just like, eh. So yeah, they're, they're done for. There's too many men for them to work out what the appropriate reaction is. It gets Charlie's like Dragoons. Get all my cavalry behind the line. It's Regiment of Grenadiers. The first and second took a bit of a hammering there. My Swiss pikes hold. My Grenadier guards hold. So then my Marines with little else to do, burn powder by attacking the men above the gates. Ceasefire. <laughs> they were going to go for these guys and blow the heads off of my raw grenadiers. Okay, they're starting to attack us now, but not that it matters because that was quite a delightful little chunk of a battle. There you go, Chakaska secured. Rebuild the Royal Palace. Get my named army rebuilt. 
knock down the monastery school, rebuild the great estates. So this army is probably going to sail to America. That's going to be its next job, because uh, it will not be needed to secure the Don. It will not be needed to secure Tarki. I want, though, the, the Persians to attack me. So my mouse is getting into a habit of doing double clicks. I want to only click it once. Um, but anyway, let's go to Alvin Veer and attack this force that's guarding the bridge. So we can blow them apart on our way to Kazan. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for probably our only major battle against the Russian Empire of, this, of, the, of the remainder of this campaign. Cheers, everyone.